Hi, my name is Christine, and this is Kobe Joe. <laughs> he is my best friend, my son, and he is also my ESA, my emotional support animal, emotional support horse. I have autism, and taking care of him every day is my therapy. Now, we have a few concerns with this recent news about uh, non-essential businesses um, not allowing uh, people in. Uh, our concern is that I'm a, I, I board him here. This is a boarding facility, and it is a business, but I take care of him myself. Uh, we are what's called self-care. And there's been talk going around that uh, boarders would not be allowed in barns to take care of their horses or anything, which is uh, it's especially concerning to me because for 16 years that I've had this guy, I have take, taken care of him. Um, he has been my therapy and... I need to know that there's going to be, um, you know, an exemption or something for those of us who have animals that don't live, may not live with us, but still need our care. Um, the other thing is, besides my disability and him being my my therapy, is that he recently went through major surgery on his abdomen he's in rehab here and i'm doing his rehab so he absolutely needs very specific care that only i can provide for him i guess my question and concern with all this that i would love to see addressed is for people such as myself uh that have animals they need to take care of outside the home and um we hope to get a positive reply that this isn't going to affect because his, you know, my therapy and his rehabilitation, because um, it could greatly affect both of our health. Uh, and we do take this this virus seriously, and and I work from home. So other than coming here to take care of this guy, I'm home. Thank you for listening, and uh, Kobe Joe says thank you. Good night.